Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a corp room where a sovereign citizen's antics are on full display. Trouble is, he gets a warrant out for his arrest later on because of his own stupidity. So let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. Well, you're here, sir. Last but not least. Blessing, sir. Can I have your first and last name? Yes, I'm here by special appearance, Sui Juris, Kevin Ladawick. Oh, Judge, you should feel honored. This soft tart has come out of, well, somewhere, I don't know where he came from, to grace you with his presence and his vast knowledge of the law. But please, let's go ahead and continue to see what kind of stupidity this guy has to offer. Spell your last name. L-A-D-E-W-I-G. Okay, here we go. Owen, oh, you called my office, didn't you? Okay. So, but we, for the record, we didn't talk. We haven't spoken, right? Because it's not appropriate for me to do that. Okay, uh, okay so this is toe 822-54. Um, let's see. Okay. May I ask one thing for the record? I'm sorry? May I ask one thing for the record? Sure. Are you on oath? Do you have a constitutional oath? Do I have a constitutional oath? Well, yes, I, I, I took an oath to uh, uphold the, the Constitution of uh, the United States and the uh, state of Illinois. Excellent. I'm a practicing attorney, so. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. So, so this is, uh, all right, let me take a look here. So the underlying alleged charges are driving while license suspended, possession of cannabis less than 10 grams, uh, speeding is not, not a basis for the tow, we've got no insurance, and then driving with expired license plates. And so this allegedly occurred back on August the 10th of this year. So are you you're contesting the validity of the tow? Yes. Okay. So what would you like to tell me? All right. Please let me finish. All right. Well, as long as you're, yeah, as long as you're relevant to the proceedings, I'm very, happy to let you very know. relevant, Thank very you, relevant, sir. Somehow, I really doubt that, dude, because I have a feeling that we are about to play sovereign citizen bingo. What, what is up first? Is it uh, you uh, misquoting uh, Supreme Court case laws or even questioning jurisdiction? Please lay it all on the line. I want to see. What kind of soft tart stupidity that you have for us today? Uh, Supreme Court decisions are considered the law of the land in regards to constitutionally protected rights and they cannot be interpreted or reinterpreted as they are stare decisis, already reviewed and cleared, described as law. One, federal law and Supreme Court cases applied to state court cases, Howell versus Rose. 496 U.S. 356 1990. No state shall convert a liberty into a privilege, license it, and attach it a fee to it. Murdoch versus Penn, 319 U.S. 105. If the state converts a liberty into a privilege, the citizen can engage in the right with impunity. Shuttlesworth versus Birmingham, 373 U.S. 262. Operation of a motor vehicle upon public streets and highways is not a mere privilege, but is a right or liberty protected by the guarantees of federal and state constitutions. Adams versus City of Pocatello, 416 P2D 46. The right to travel on the public highway is a constitutional right. Tech Lean Lines versus uh, Danford, Mississippi, 12. SO 2D 784-787, anything that is a right cannot be subject to conditions or licensing. Lane versus Wilson, 307 U.S. 268-275, every state law must confirm in the first place to the Constitution of the United States and then to the subordinate Constitution of the particular state. And if it infringes upon any, upon the provisions of either, it is so far void. Houston versus Moore, 18 U.S. 1, 5 L E D 19, and the Constitution itself is in every sense a law. Carter versus Carter Coal Company, 298 U.S. 140, 296, 
1935. No sanction can be imposed absent proof of jurisdiction standard versus Olson 74. SCT 768 with no injured party, a complaint is invalid on its face. Gibson versus Boyle 139 Arizona 512. I have heard just about all of these cases and all other sovereign citizen videos and they're all cherry-picked nonsense that the sovtards tend to uh, get wrong anyway. The right of a citizen to travel upon the public highway and to transport his property thereon in the ordinary course of life and business is a common right which he has under his right to enjoy life and liberty, to acquire and possess property, and to pursue happiness and safety. It includes the right in doing so to use the ordinary and usual conveyances of the day and under the existing modes of travel include the right to drive a horse-drawn carriage or wagon thereof or to operate a, an automobile thereon for the usual and ordinary purpose of life and business. It is not a mere privilege like the privilege of moving a house in the street, operating a business stand in the street, or transporting persons or property for hire along the street which a city may permit or prohibit at will. Thompson versus Smith, 154, SE 579 at 583. Therefore, federal code law, Title 42, Section 666, which indicates that we can't buy, sell, travel, trade, or work without a social security number is seemingly in direct violation of the Supreme, <coughs> the Supreme Court decisions which invalidate Title 42, Section 666. It is uncon unconstitutional to require one to have a Social Security number and driver's license to travel. But Sovtards, you don't need all that to uh, travel at all because, you know what? Here's a little secret I've got to tell you. Traveling is a fundamental right. Driving is a privilege. Quit mixing those two things up criminal and statutory jurisdiction. All persons are presumed to know the law. If any person acts under any unconstitutional statute, he does so at his own peril. He must take the consequences. 16 AM, juror 177, 1781. Person is not criminally responsible unless criminal intent accompanies wrongful act. Gasho versus US 39 F. 3D, 1420, 9th Circuit, 1994. If an administrative officer or agency acts outside the scope of its authority or jurisdiction, it acts as its act are null and void. Doolin versus Carr, 125 U.S. 618. When federal officials perpetrate constitutional torts, they do so ultra verse varies and lose the shield of sovereign immunity. Williams versus U.S. Department of Agricultural, 815 F2D 369. Decency, security, and liberty alike demand that government officials shall be subject to the rules of conduct that are commands to the citizens. U.S. versus Olmstead, 277 U.S. 438, 1928. Remedy. The Constitution provisions that no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor private property taken for public use without compensation. I don't know why the judge is allowing this to happen, because I'm sure that a little bit of research will uncover that what he's talking about is a load of BS. And I've done about 25% of his cases already, and you know what? That 25% alone is a bunch of BS, filled with misquotes and cherry picking. Are intended as limitations upon the power of the government in its dealings with the citizens and relates to that class of rights whose protection is peculiar within the province of the judicial branch of government and that the courts are bound to give remedy for unlawful invasion of rights of property by officers of any breach of government, United States versus Lee 106, U.S. 196, 1882. I also would like to stand on the uh, Fifth Amendment. Okay. So by saying that, you're indicating to me you won't answer any of my questions, which you don't have to. Um, 
That is not what I'm indicating. I'm indicating that I had to be compensated for property oh, that okay. has been seized. All right. So um, you apparently you did submit a written affidavit. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. To uh, the village of Lombard. I did. Uh, I read that. You know, as part of the, the packet here. Um, I reviewed the police report um, and some various other documents. I've got video on it also. I'm sorry. I've got video on it also. Okay. Okay. And then they did claim in the. Uh, Inventory report. Uh, they uh, defamed my character by claiming that I'm a sovereign citizen, which is a basically uh, a known uh, establishment for terrorism. Well, if you're not exactly a sovereign citizen, then why the hell are you using court cases that appear in a lot of sovereign citizen videos? And you are using jargon that a, a lot of sovereign citizens use. So if it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, it must be a duck. So uh, by doing that, uh, defaming my character on that and defaming my legal documents, okay. which are actually uh, Supreme Court CITES. So. Uh, right, yeah, and I've, I've examined uh, what you provided to. Uh, I do have more if you'd like. I'm sorry? I do have more if you would like. Okay. No, I, at this point, I'm, I'm very comfortable with your position. And, you know, I, I respect that. Thank you, sir. So, looking at um, the records provided to me, it does appear that on the, on the date of the alleged violation, you didn't have a valid driver's license. Is that correct? In the state of Illinois? Don't need a driver's license. Okay. Yeah, because I'm showing that you didn't have a valid license. I also see that... Your plates were expired. Were your, were your pay, plates expired? I'm on a contract with the Secretary of State and the Department of Motor Vehicle. Okay. Um, so, yes, I've uh, excluded myself from all the contracts. Okay. UCC 1308 without prejudice. Well, now, uh, if you're not a sovereign citizen, then why the hell did you just quote the UCC, considering the UCC is what all sovereign citizens use to try to justify their actions. Okay. All right. So because I'm what I'm seeing from the record indicates that the, the plates were expired and both of those are bases for, for uh, towing of the vehicle. It's not and a there's commercial. possession of the cannabis. It's not a commercial vehicle. Okay, thank you. Do you uh, did you also have a cannabis on your person? I did. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate your candor. I do. Um, you know, speeding isn't a concern for me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so as, as I said um, earlier, uh, I, I'm an attorney. I've been doing these hearings for quite a while now. I have reviewed the documents and the citations that you have uh, referred to me. Um, I don't find them persuasive. Uh, you do have the right to travel on the public ways, but you have to have a valid driver's license and you have to have... By what law? Well, hang on. Let me... i let you talk. Okay. Let me talk. Very well. Because we're on the record here and I want to make sure... Yeah. So, and this is my finding, and the Supreme Court's very clear on points that, you know, that right to travel on the, the public roads can be conditioned on things like having a driver's license for operating a motor vehicle, having valid registration on that motor vehicle. Um, you know, there's a close to the point, and there's, there's plenty of case law on that point. So, well, let me finish. So, based on that and the fact that, you know, there doesn't seem to be any uh, issue of fact related to uh, the validity of the license, the possession of cannabis, and um, the expiration of the license plates. I do unfortunately have to enter a finding of liable. Uh, the amount of the administrative fee will be that $500 uh, that's, that I mentioned at the beginning of the hearing. And you're gonna compensate me then? So that, that is not fifth, my rule. According to the Fifth Amendment. Dude, if you can't even get the Fifth Amendment right, what makes you think that you can get the case laws right? Because the Fifth Amendment does not say anything about the uh, court system compensating you. You are a complete dumbass. Of the Constitution. Sir, that's my if, finding. That's, you know, that's not, not gonna, a finding. I'm not going to argue the case with you. As really? I said in the beginning. Okay. Under said, what jurisdiction? As I said Under in the beginning. Under what jurisdiction? You have no jurisdiction. Okay. And now, well, there you go. There's another one for the Sovereign Citizen Bingo card. No, you don't have jurisdiction over me. You know what? For a guy who claims not to be a Sovereign Citizen, you just keep on convincing everybody that you definitely are. So, if you're not going to let me finish, I'm Okay, go ahead. You're right. You do have the right to file an appeal if you disagree with my findings. 
you have uh, 35 days to file that appeal in the circuit court of the 18th Judicial Circuit. Okay? You understand you that right? I do not understand. Okay. Well, I've, I've explained it twice. I am asking. So you should. I'm asking and demanding that you honor your oath that you have taken. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And recognize the Supreme Court findings that I stated earlier. Thank you. That I do so not need a I license. I do not need a license to drive my personal property, which is an automobile. Do not need it. Registration for a motor vehicle on an automobile. Thank you, sir. That is not my finding. All right. So we have that order printed up for you. You can get a copy from the clerk station over there. Just hold on. Get this right. This is not the end. I know it's a record. The time is now 9.57 a.m. No one else is in the audience with regards to. Well, that didn't exactly work out too well for him in there. But wait, he's about to walk out and encounter something else that's going to completely ruin his day. Mr. Allen, I'm going to warrant for your arrest. Put your hands on your back and arrest. Really? Now I'm being accosted. There's a warrant for your arrest. You are under arrest. By what authority? You have not provided. You have not provided any documentation yet. Yeah. You have not provided any documentation. We will. I am. This is not a resist. This is no documentation. Do you have an order signed by a judge? Yes. Yeah. Let's see it. I have to be at the station. Oh, not at the station. You're arresting me without paperwork. Okay. Without proper paperwork. Really? Okay. We only have to provide it to you later. Okay. Which we will. Do you want her to take this? Yes, please. Yes. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Go ahead. You guys are fine. You guys are slick, huh? Not slick. You guys are breaking the law. Acting outside. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Do you want her to take any of this stuff or do you want it? Yes, have her take that please. Ma'am! Ma'am! Can you please take my money? Do you want her to take this or no? No. Okay, well she needs to view this. It's gonna be put into uh into property, so you're not gonna have Alright, I'll it. have her take that. I will have her take that. Hey, soft hard, you really should learn a lesson from this and uh, get your life back in order because you are a complete loser. You failed in traffic court to even sway the judge, which is what was expected to begin with because the judge has the capability and know how to research these cases properly unlike you so try again and next time get some better research methodology and stop listening to the Savtard gurus at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one